hello everyone back with another daily video sorry that the first daily video of this month was actually uploaded at like five minutes after midnight so technically i haven't uploaded every day but we're still going to count it still going to keep pushing out a video um so yeah i'm editing the video for yesterday which would be december 2nd so hopefully that will be uploaded by like 8 or 9 o'clock at night. But anyways, about to head to the gym. Honestly, these videos are going to get very repetitive. Basically, just going to be me going to the gym and doing editing, I guess. I'm going to try and put some more interesting things in, see what I can do. Um, I haven't really thought about that. So I, I guess me coming to this realization that it's going to be very repetitive if I'm just going to the gym is making me realize that I have to add at least a little bit of flair some way, somehow. So we'll figure that out together. Anyways, I'm gonna get dressed now. So I'm back home now. My hair is in a bun. I know, it looks crazy. I decided not to record in the gym just because it was very crowded for when I went. I guess probably because it was like 11 or 12. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna edit the video that's supposed to be uploaded when you're watching this supposed to be uploaded yesterday so yeah I'm working on that right now and then I need to work on the blog post because I was supposed to post that on Sunday and I didn't then we'll get into today's topic how I always go to the gym and how I'm always dedicated to going to the gym so there's two different levels of like a habit there's dedication and then there's an addictive habit so we'll get into those two after I get some of this work done. There's been two different stages of habit building for me to get to the point of where I am now to be able to go to the gym five or six days out of the week. And how I started was just going five days a week and then eventually I increased it to six. Ever since I started this new pro program, I'm doing five days a week. And that's it. I enjoy it. It gives me like the freedom on Saturdays and Sundays to do what I want. I still run on Saturdays, but I do that pretty early, or at least I'm trying to, so I'm able to get to go and do stuff. There was a point in time where I was like, oh, I feel like I don't deserve to do anything if I don't go to the gym today. And that I would say that time period was definitely first semester of college. I would never let myself miss a day at the gym and if I did, like, I honestly, I wouldn't eat. I would say I had an eating disorder at that time. Basically, this is what I looked like my freshman year, first, like, the first two weeks of college. Uh, I wasn't eating a lot. I felt like I didn't deserve anything. I wasn't getting stronger in the gym. I wasn't getting faster on my run. It actually took me a while to realize that's not how, like, nutrition and exercise work. I had the concept in my mind. I was only supposed to eat 2,000 calories a day. The intensity and the amount I was working out at definitely called for more. I realized that I needed to eat more and properly in my kinesiology classes and also in my nutrition class that I took my freshman semester. She'll be back. You got a little hair. Let's get you something to drink. Maybe a little, maybe a little thirsty. I would say at that point in time I was definitely addicted to exercise and that's also another thing we've covered in my major is addiction to exercise but I, I was just in a really bad state of mind at that time I'm sorry he's a little he just he, he misses her I wasn't truly loving myself I guess you could say I hated how I looked um, I, I just I wasn't the best mentally when it came to my personal health but then after taking those courses and going into the spring semester that year, I really changed like how I was eating, my nutrition, like the amount of calories I was eating. This is what I looked like spring semester of freshman year of college. And so there's a, there's a slight difference and in my opinion it looks really good. The amount of food I'm eating has increased definitely since both of those times, but due to that amount of food, I've also made a lot of increases in strength. Looking back to fall of 2018, I was definitely only squatting like 215, maybe, and 
honestly my max at that time was probably like 205 if we're going talking about going parallel looking now my pr for squats now is 315 pounds and i did that maybe a year ago but then i started having issues with my knees so i pulled back a little bit and honestly now my knees are probably the best they have ever been since pulling back like i think i may have gone up to 235 maybe 240 and th that felt great it felt really good i was actually able to do three sets of that if you're building a habit make sure it doesn't affect your self-esteem that much if you think you're going to feel bad for not doing it then you're probably on the verge of addiction to it but obviously like i'm going to feel bad if i don't go to the gym but i know it's not end all be all if i miss one day it's one day now if i missed a week i'd probably like feel like a little bit of a slob but if there are circumstances keeping me away from that, I understand that I that that's just how it is. Like say if I was traveling or say if we went back into another lockdown, I totally understand that and I'd do my best to remain active to some point. Two different types of habits, addiction, healthy habits, make sure you don't go to the addictions. Make sure you stay with the healthy ones so they last a long time. And I think that's it. Is that it for this video, Max? I think he said that's it for this video. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't be a fraction. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And he's going to munch on his food for this last little bit. So anyways, guys, peace out.